Hey everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at sheep and everything you need to do to keep sheep. So in front of me we have pretty much everything we need to feed and take care of our sheep. And then we have some hay bales. I've got a water trailer full of water and then a trailer full of hay. That is pretty much all you're going to need to keep sheep. Sheep are fairly simple. I would say they are maybe one tick up on the difficulty scale from chickens. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sheep placeables that are available for us in the build mode. So if we go to animals, sheep, we have three different placeables. We have the outside pasture right here. It will hold 15 sheep. It will take hay and water. Then we have the sheep barn. It will take 25 sheep and it will hold hay and hay alone. And that is because the sheep barn itself is going to provide the water via indoor plumbing. Then we have the large sheep barn that's going to hold 65 sheep. And it is also going to only take hay. So the large sheep barn is fairly expensive at $97,000. The small sheep barn is $51,000. And then the sheep outside pasture is 26. So I'm gonna go ahead and place six of these down and I'll be right back with you. So now that we have our sheep down, let's go ahead and take a look at the various buildings. So the small sheep barn we have the food trough, the animal trigger, and then around the side we have our wool trigger. And then inside here we've got some interesting doohickeys. And then we have several others that are the same. I went ahead and put down the outside sheep pen just for the sake of showing you the triggers we have our animal buy point there our water trough our food trough and then our sheep spawn point we can locate the food trough because it is three segments the water trough is only two segments and then we have the large sheep building so we have our buy point there we have our food trough area, and then our wool spawn point. So the reason I'm not putting sheep in the large building or the small building is twofold. First, I'm not putting sheep in the small area because it only holds 15. I plan on buying 10 of each sheep just as a baseline. And when it comes to reproduction, this pen, since it only holds 15, won't even be able to hold all of the sheep that we're going to get off of our first reproductive cycle because of the fact that it will get full. The reason I'm not going to put anything in this building is because the minimum fill level for the food trough is over 11,000 liters of hay or grass. Regardless of how many sheep you put in here, it's going to want to fill this to over 11,000 liters which is which is great if you're doing a long play because if you only have a few sheep in here you're not going to have to fill that trough for a very very long time but for demonstration purposes yeah we don't need to do that so let's go ahead and see what kind of sheep we can buy so in the game we have four different breeds of sheep and in my testing earlier I have found that the top three breeds reproduce at the same rate, they consume food at the same rate, and they produce wool at the same rate. The Black Welsh Mountain, I have found, produces more wool than all the other sheep, but there's a caveat, and we're going to test that right now and figure out if it's because the sheep are older or if this breed just so happens to put more wool on the sheep. So we're going to get 10 the land race of Bethlehem. 
They are newborns. So we're going to pick that. We're going to get 10. And then we're going to go over here. And we're going to get 10 of the 8-month-old variant. Then we're going to get the eight month old variant of the Stein shaft. We're going to get 10 of the West Black Mountain. And then we're going to get 10 of the Black Welsh Mountain, 30 month old sheep. They are much more expensive. And then in this building, we're going to get 10 of the newborn Black Mountain Welsh sheep. Let's shut these doors. We don't want you guys getting out. There we go. So what we're going to test with this is I want to see if the zero month old black Welsh produce the same amount of wool as the zero month old land race of Bethlehem. And if that's not how you say it, then that's just how we're going to say it. Let's go ahead and feed these guys some hay. So the way this works is we need to extract our forks from the bale in order for the bale to register in the food trough and then it will take. So we can feed loose or bale form. It's just we need to pull out and go back in. And this is going to finish off our bale. Well, let's go get our trailer. Since we didn't put any sheep in the outside pen, we don't really need the water, but nonetheless, if you were going to have sheep in an outside pen, you would need water for them Let's see it's this one so do note we probably need a little bit smaller of a trailer if you're going to feed in these buildings. And just like with our chicken video, it seems like the food trough is going to hold them for eight or nine months. That seems to be the amount so let's go ahead and take a look at our animals screen so we have sheep all in barns 4500 liters zero month old 4500 liters of eight month old all right so let's go ahead and head over to the house and i'll see you tomorrow Let's go ahead and take a look at our animals. So our nine month old land race of Bethlehem. Bethlehem. They've consumed four down 4,000. We have 97 liters of wool. 
Our 30 month old black Welsh mountain has 162 liters of wool, but they have produced eight or eaten down the same amount of food. Our one month old black mountain Welsh have produced zero wool and have fed down a very little amount of food. The Steinschaft, 97 liters of wool, the same amount of food. Swiss Black Mountain, same amount of wool, same amount of food. And the land race of Bethlehem, the newborns, same amount of food as the Black Mountain Welsh. Newborns and no wool. See you tomorrow. Day three, or month three, 225 liters of wool. The Black Mountain Welsh, 362 liters of wool, but they are 32 months old. The two-month-olds, now they have started to produce wool, 27 liters. So let's see what these guys, 27 liters for two-month-old sheep. Interesting. So far, it's looking like the only reason these older Black Mountain Welsh sheep are out producing the other sheep is because they are older. And every other sheep is at 225. Let's take a look. 361 liters were 11 months old. The 33 month old Black Welsh Mountain, 562 liters. The three month old Black Welsh Mountain are at 62. The three month old Landrace are at 62 liters of wool. The 11 month old Black Swiss Mountain, 361, as are the 11 month old Stein Chaff. Go again. Five hundred and five liters of wool. The older Black Welsh Mountain, seven hundred and sixty-two. The four-month-old Black Welsh Mountain, one twenty-two, as is the four-month-old Landrace of Bethlehem, one twenty-two. Black Swiss Mountain, five oh five, five oh five. Now these guys are going to reproduce tomorrow. We should get 10 sheep each. These guys will not reproduce until they are at least at age eight or eight months. Then they will start the reproduction cycle. So at 16 months, we will have lambs from these guys and the newborn Black Mountain Welsh. All right, so we now have had our reproduction phase. So our land race of Bethlehem have now had 10 lambs. And our reproduction cycle is now going to restart. We're at 658 liters of wool. We have now 10 lambs of Black Welsh Mountain Sheep. 962 liters of wool. We have still 10 of the five month old Black Welsh Mountain Sheep, 194 liters. Same with the five month old Land Race of Bethlehem, 194 liters. The Swiss Black Brown Mountain. We now have 10 lambs. So the way it is looking here, it is looking very much like the only reason these black Welsh mountain sheep are out producing is because they are older. Which somewhat implies that as these other sheep age, they will increase their wool production. Go ahead and move this forward another day. So we have now moved it forward six months, six game days. 
We probably are going to need to put some food in the trough here. In a day, maybe. Maybe two days, we'll have it zeroed out. So that'll be seven. That'll be eight months. There about. Our younglings. At six month old, clearly they are eating at a much lower rate. But as they grow, they're going to be consuming more food. 283 liters. Our other six month old sheep, 283 liters. So, yes, I am 100% going to call it. All the sheep, if they are the same age, are going to produce the same amount of wool. They're going to reproduce at the exact same rate. And they're consuming food at the exact same rate. So, other than visual appearance, there is no other difference between them as far as profitability except of the significantly older black Welsh mountain sheep that you can buy at the start that are also significantly more expensive. Now, what can we do with our wool? Well, we can sell it, of course. And there's a couple places to do that. But first, I want to show you what the wool pallets look like. So they spawn up to four different bales. We like the details on that. We can see where they have stapled the sack together with the wool in it. So here you go. A full pallet is 1,000 liters of wool. It is too biggy to pick, too heavy to pick up. It's 490 kilograms. Now, if we look at the prices screen, you're going to see that we can take wool either to Johnson's Farmer's Market. I am here on Elm Creek or the spinnery. Right now, they are about the same price. I have seen it fluctuate so much that Johnson's Farmer's Market is twice as profitable as the spinnery. Now, of course, the spinnery is a sell point or if you buy the spinnery, then you can produce fabric with the wool you take there. Now, if you produce fabric, you can sell the fabric at the Grocery Mart here on Elm Creek. Or, if you buy and put down the tailor, you can then take the fabric to the tailor, make clothing, and then the clothing you can sell at the Grocery Mart for 28,000 liters or dollars per thousand liters. Now, you notice I said you had to place the tailor. That is because the tailor isn't on the map. It's not viable unless you put it down in the build mode, production, factories. The tailor is right here. It's going to take fabric and make clothing. Costs $100,000. But once you do it, then you can start rolling in the dough with respect to the clothes. So guys, I hope that cleared up a little bit, maybe confusion you might have with respect to the various sheep breeds. Maybe you've never keep, kept sheep before for any one reason, and now you know how you can feed them, what you can feed them, where you place them, and basically just where things go. If you've got any other questions, please go ahead and put them down in the comments. If you liked the video, go ahead and slap that like button. Slap the subscribe button too if you're not a subscriber because we are going to be continuing to put out how-to videos for Farming Simulator 22 for the near future. And then once we pretty much settle down with the how-to videos, we're going to start getting into live streams and pre-recorded videos. And we're always going to have those map videos pop up. So until next time, happy farming.